How's it going everyone? I know it's been a hot minute since I have last uploaded here on the channel and I want to apologize for that in advance, but I need to put out this video to spread a very serious message. And that is allegations revolving around things like rape, around things like predatory behavior, sexual assault, what have you, need to be taken very fucking seriously and also need to be handled very delicately and sensitively as well given the nature of those type of accusations. Now I'm going to showcase what James Charles here tweeted out which pretty much sums up my thoughts here about this whole type of situation. Sexual assault is really fucking serious and it is absolutely disgusting that making false allegations is becoming a trend right now. All it does is invalidate actual victims when they feel ready to come forward. And the second tweet reads, Victims deserve to be heard and should never be invalidated, but it's insane that anonymous, newly made accounts are popping up with stories and people are just believing it. With no proof at all? I am not defending anyone, but there are always two sides to every story. Speak on, sister. Now, a good friend once told me there's actually three sides to the story. There's your side, there's their side, and then there's the fucking truth. And I think we all need to be about the truth. And I say that because while these type of accusations are very, very major and very serious, they need to be handled with care and sensitivity and be fact-checked over and over and over again, right down to the last crumb, because false accusations are pretty fucking serious as well. They can ruin another person's life. And James Charles is someone that can vouch that for you. And not just James Charles, but pro Jared, Slazo, you know, there are a lot of notable faces that have had to deal with having false allegations levied at them without substantial proof and evidence. And before we heard out all sides of the story, and because it was left to the court of public opinion, those people went through a lot of trauma and it's not okay. It's not right. Yes, things like rape and sexual assault, that all needs to be dealt with to the fullest extent of the fucking law. But see, that's right there is where it should go. It should be dealt with by law enforcement and the court of law, not the court of public opinion. And the actual victims deserve justice to the fullest fucking extent and then some. Because... Those people went through immense trauma going through those type of experiences. And on the other side of the coin, those who have been falsely accused of such, such as James Charles, you know, they themselves deserve to have had justice for them because of those false and unproven allegations thrown at them. And despite the fact that James Charles, you know, more than proved his innocence, he still has to deal with that type of shit fucking happening, you know what I'm saying? He still has to live with the fact that that happened to him on a grand fucking scale. And not just him, but all those out there that have had to deal with false allegations of rape and sexual assault being thrown at them when they are not true at all and definitely, definitely unsubstantiated and unproven. Like, that right there is definitely a big-time no-no. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, we ourselves, as a community and as individuals, need to take this type of stuff extremely fucking seriously. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this kind of stuff has happened to you, speak out. Speak out. Make your fucking voices be heard, man. I'm telling you, okay? Don't live in silence. Don't live in fear. Don't don't let any of that fucking suppress your voice. You know what I mean? If you went through these type of experiences, you need to get your fucking voice heard out there, man, okay? Spread that shit fucking around, especially given the fact that there are a lot of people in every single community that is willing to support and be there for you so they can help spread your message and get you the proper justice that you deserve. Now, before I end the video off here, I want to shout out everyone that has come forth with these type of experiences. My heart and my pity goes out to you 210%. Uh, nobody ever, ever, 
should ever have to go through those type of experiences and live in fear, live in trauma, live in silence. Like, you deserve to be heard, okay? And this is actually why these type of false allegations need to be stopped because you devalue and diminish the severity and the voices of those that have legitimately went through these type of experiences. Like, it's not fucking okay. And shit like that should be punished as well. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I think I said all that I needed to say. Uh, this was a very, very, very uncomfortable topic for me to even make a video on. Um, I really, really hope that this doesn't come off the wrong way, and I hope that nothing is misunderstood. If there is any type of misunderstanding when it comes to this video, please, please, please let me know, and I will do what I can to clarify that and then some. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, guys, we need to work together as a community to out predators and out rapists and sexual assault and predators and all that stuff. But at the same time, we also need to out false accusations of the sort because false accusations of these types of monstrosities can ruin a person's life. Even if they get proven innocent, th their, their life is still plagued by the fact that they got publicly accused of of monstrous acts with that being said guys that's all i've got to say god bless you guys thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one